dimensions of murder. Hello everyone, welcome in. Stream time. This time, I'm solo tonight. Uh, no Back for Blood, no uh, Dead Space 3. Decided to go a little old school with a little bit of CSI, as Gil Grissom says. Follow the evidence, we solve the crime. So, anyway, this is the game I'm getting into tonight. CSI, Three Dimensions of Murder. So, this game here, uh, it's a relatively older game. It is, I believe, from, looks like eh, 2006, I believe, 2007. Uh, it's a relatively older game. But uh, I remember playing a little bit of this when, uh, when I was younger, when I was a big CSI fan. And still I'm a big CSI fan. I'm watching that new CSI Vegas, which has been really good. It's good to have the show back. Pretty good revival. Um, I'm excited to see where it's going to go. They brought back Grissom, and they brought back Sarah, and we also got Hodges and Brass. So it's been very good. I recommend that if you like the original CSI Las Vegas, check out the revival. It's on Wednesdays at 10 on CBS uh, and Paramount Plus, by the way. So I'm going to get into this. Um, I'm excited to get into this because I think, if I remember correctly, it was a pretty fun point-and-click kind of game. You'd interview suspects. You would uh, dust off clues um, and just follow the evidence. Uh, each case, I believe they said, takes about two hours or so to complete, uh, something to that degree. Um, I guess it just depends on, you know, how quick you solve them, I suppose. But um, let's get into it. Let's see how the game starts, and uh, let's have some fun uh, solving some crimes. Welcome to Vegas, the city without clocks, in the casinos anyway. Here at CSI, time is something we pay close attention to because the early hours of a murder investigation are key. As our newest crime scene investigator, your credentials are strong, but the proof is in your performance. Gail, yeah, we've got a situation over... Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. Catherine Willows, let me introduce you to our newest CSI. Now, what have you got for us? Art gallery owner by the strip with an unexpected exhibit on his showroom floor. A dead body. <laughs> Possible homicide. Thanks, Isn't it always. Okay, I'm partnering you with Warwick Brown on this case. He'll help show you the ropes. But your own CSI skills oh, yeah. are what we're counting on to crack this case. Good old Warwick Brown. I have lab work to get back to. Would you supervise this case? You got it, Gil. And you should head to that art gallery now. Oh, and remember, as G.K. Chesterton once said, the criminal is the creative artist, the detective only the critic. If you haven't watched the show, I'm going to spoil something a little bit here, so close your ears now and be warned. Uh, the reason why I said, huh, Warwick Brown is because actually, I believe it was in season 7 of CSI, Warwick Brown was actually killed off the series in a very surprising fashion. Uh, Grissom had found the body in the car in an alley. It was a pretty, uh, pretty surprising death because Warwick was on the show for a long time. So um, it was a very surprising thing, but I just wanted to bring that up. But uh, anybody that's watching, welcome in. Um, if you're on Facebook, unfortunately, I can't see your comments. I'm only able to see the Twitch ones right now, so I, I apologize if I'm not able to answer those. Uh, but anybody that comments on Twitch, I can see it. i got the stream manager in front of me. So uh, let's get going here. All right, getting used to the controls here a little bit. Okay, we're going to go to the crime scene. Like something right out of the series, pretty cool. You can tell the graphics are a little bit thing, but this game is, what, 15 years old or so, so it's the way it goes. It's not about the graphics, it's about the game. There he is, Work Brown. Hey, I'm CSI Work Brown. I'm glad to have some help on this one. We got a dead Vic on the floor and a live gallery owner waiting in the sidelines. Are you ready? Good. Right as I'll ever be. Pay close attention. We're in the art world. And if you don't know how to look at something, you won't understand what it means. Gotta be the gallery owner, right? Isn't it always? Alright, let's investigate this crime scene. The big face down. Spatter pattern on the wall close by indicates blunt force trauma. Take a photo of this. It's always good for future reference. Three. You're going to need an angle that shows the Vic's position in relation to the spatter. All right. Ooh. 
Let's just take it as is. All right. Perfect. We've got our photo. Right. Too pretty, too young, and way too dead. Pay close attention to the body. There could be evidence anywhere from head to toe. Right, check the purse out first. Yeah, when we use our gloves, we don't want to be touching shit and contaminating it. No wallet, cash, or ID. Could this be a glorified mugging? Or it could be somebody that man wanted it to make it look like a mugging, which in this case is probably what it is. All right, let's rotate this around, make sure we're not missing anything. Make sure there's nothing inside the purse. I'm not seeing anything, so we'll move on. Try the blood The pad. blood flowed from the head wound and naturally cooled around her. That suggests she bled to death right here. Damn. Let's collect some blood. All right, we got our blood swab to go to the lab with. Uh, I'm not really seeing any other evidence here that stands out for collection. Let's go back. Uh, let's check out the blood pattern I want pattern you to the note wall. the blood spatter here. For a visual pattern like this, you'll want to use the digital camera. Then you can get the blood afterwards. Okay. Take that picture. Well, if a picture's worth a thousand words, we got several thousand here telling us what went down. The Vic was hit at least twice. The pattern in her position relative to it tells us so. The first blow probably caused the puncture wound and sent her to the ground. The second blow, while she was down, Ooh. created the blood spatter. Batter up. Let's collect some blood. We don't have trace evidence and we don't have larger pieces, so we're gonna have to swab the blood. All right. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Anything else that stands out? Nothing there. Check out the bottom of the tape. A good idea to be thorough, but nothing's there. We gotta be thorough. Alright, let's check this out. A good idea to be thorough, but nothing's there. I guess your point, Warwick. I'm just being thorough, like you said. Hmm, okay, we got something here. 60 large for an earthbound bird? And a fingerprint. If nice! If heart theft was the motivation, why not take the other two birds as well? All right, let's uh, let's spray it. You'll want a different oh, tool for that. Oh, nope, sorry, that's what I did wrong. It's not wood surfaces, a smooth polished surface. Bingo. Let's brush this baby off. Bingo. And collect. Nice catch. Whoever bagged our bird may have left that print. It wasn't the murder weapon. So we know that much. Anything around it, let's rotate. Again, being thorough. Check this one. A good idea to be thorough, but nothing's there. All right. Well, before we talk to him, let's make sure we missed nothing. Uh, I think we're good. Nothing else is popping up. Let's have a little chat with you, buddy. See where you were. What's your name? This is the Nathan Ackerman Fine Art Studio, and I am Nathan Ackerman. My art, displaying the creativity and on occasion the genius of my exhibitors in a setting that is itself a work of art. A work of art. Do you mind if we ask you a few questions? Please do. Consider me your host and ally. Don't hesitate to ask if I can help you resolve this, uh, this affair quickly and cleanly. Of course you want it done quickly, I'll not see because what you we care. Can do. But Mr. Ackerman, there's nothing clean about murder. Got that right. All right, let's ask him what happened. I was out briefly on an errand, and to my devastation, I discovered a client, Rachel Maddox, dead on my gallery floor. You must understand that this is a crushing blow. Rachel was an excellent client and a dear friend. That's how you treat friends, I huh? can't you... imagine. All right. What's the fiance's name? Um... Not really too worried about... Oh, the fiancé's name, yes, we were worried about Her that. Her fiancé is one Mark Stock, a taciturn fellow with a physique worthy of a Greek sculpture and just about as talkative.
Frankly, he has the personality of a doorstop and the artistic taste of a hillbilly. Forgive my candor. The man does have his admirers. He's an ex-baseball player of some kind from the minor leagues, I believe. As I said, he was here with Rachel when I left, but when I returned, she was alone, undead. Okay, so before my stream went dead, what I was saying is we have two suspects here. We have the fiancé, and we have the artist that made the sculpture. And I was talking about how usually in these situations, always the fiancé or the boyfriend or whatever. I think that's too good to be true, but even the sculpture guy might be too good to be true. So maybe these two suspects are to throw us off the scent. So uh, let's keep asking some questions here. Let's get the artist's name. Patrick Milton. Many of the works in this showroom are in fact his. He's not a critical darling, considered by some too commercial, mm. but the public loves him, and as long as they do, so do I. I found out more about him. Yes, they were having an argument about the art, which was unusual as Mr. Stock had never expressed an opinion from the beginning. Now he was making a stand. He said it was foolish to make such a fuss, oh. and the wedding could easily go on without these silly pieces. But Rachel wasn't having any of that. In Mr. Stock's words, he can sound rather shrill for such a strapping specimen of masculinity. He said Rachel had become unreasonable and out of control over the artist not showing up. And, well, honestly, he had a point. She did have that, that side to her. Understand, I was very fond of Rachel, but frankly, some of the invective she hurled was directed not just at her fiancé, but, if you can imagine... That Sounds me. like a whore. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps forsaken, perhaps. Um, it, it sounds to me that the husband might have had more anger towards the artist, but I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, why did you leave them here if they were arguing? Fortunately, a truce between the betrothed had come to pass before I had to leave. They were even, shall we say, affectionate. I felt comfortable enough leaving them alone. The storm had blown over, and they were like lovebirds again. Hmm. Okay. To me, Mark Stock would be an enigma if he had a higher IQ. During their tiff, he seemed cold, emotionless. He's one of those passive-aggressive types who occasionally erupt, but in a strange, distant way, unleashing a torrent of abusive language, but hmm. delivering that invective in a controlled, cruel manner, seemingly devoid of any feeling. So somebody with a huge anger problem, essentially. They visit Vegas frequently. We can get away, from which they invariably stop by my gallery to do business. Rachel did so love art. What was the question? Ah, no, I have no address. They flew Great. in for their wedding, and I have no idea at which hotel, though it will certainly be one of the pricier ones. Okay. We could find that out. Ah, that was the spark that lit the fuse of the argument between Rachel and Mark. The artist had vowed to be here with the finished painting and sculpture first thing this morning. But he didn't show up at all. Not the first time. And Rachel flew into a rage when he did not appear. Hmm. Heavens, our association goes back years, almost a decade. Quite frankly, he's the star here. I've displayed and sold hundreds of his works. I could have sold more, but he misses so many deadlines. No matter how hard I tried to breed professionalism into his artist's soul, I failed. Still, he does sell. I don't know. Both these guys sound like they could have done it. Ridiculous as it might seem, no. What do I you have know? never once in all the years of our very successful association even seen his studio. As I say, he's quirky, private to the point of reclusiveness. Oh, but of course I have a phone number and a P.O. box. Well, something. He wants his checks, after all. That'll be enough to track him. Thanks, Mr. Ackerman. This guy's a real freaking douche. All right, we got a phone number. Oh, I some? can tell you it's a disaster. That's one of our most valuable pieces. Hawks are a specialty of Mr. Milton's, and that's, that's a signature work. Any Milton collector would kill to... Uh, excuse me, that was an unfortunate burst of hyperbole. Thank but you. I can say with no exaggeration at all that the perch predator 
is an expensive item indeed, and I'll be calling my insurance agent as soon as we're done here. Do you have a photo of their missing statue? Standard operating procedure in the art game. I'll be Good. glad to get it for you, though I'd appreciate its eventual return. Insurance, you know. Mm-hmm. Sure you'd like that. Last question. I want your fingerprints, bitch. My fingerprints are all over this gallery, both literally and figuratively. As I said, I intend to cooperate fully. My life is an open book. Good. I'm glad you gave us those. I don't want to look at your back office. Uh, no, I'm sorry, no. What happened Why? to full cooperation? Your life an open book? My life is an open book, that I pledge to you. But I can't allow this door to be opened. I may seem inconsistent, but there are many expensive, even priceless objects dark back there. Then watch me while I go through stuff. Damage. Particularly when I see no relevance to your investigation, since it's been locked throughout this entire unfortunate affair. I don't know that. I'm sorry, unless you have a warrant, I can't... Uh, I just can't allow you to go flinging your fingerprint powder around and spritzing your various sprays. Okay. We'll try this again. I'm sorry, unless you have a warrant. I just can't allow you to go flinging your fingerprint okay. powder around and spritzing your okay. various sprays. Okay. No more questions. Okay, chat. So, so far we've got two suspects. I'm even including this guy as a third suspect because to me... He's suspicious as hell, I think, because the back office thing's a little suspicious. But what do you think, chat? As of right now, before we get more into the case, who is your prediction out of these three people to possibly be the killer? My guess right now... I'm going to go with the artist right now, uh, because, even because the, the statue's missing, quite possibly. But I'd be willing to think maybe the husband, too, because he wanted it to look like that that guy did it. So... That's that, that's my theory, at least. It's hey, not to work. Do you need a hint? Oh, no, I don't need a hint. I'm, I'm good. All right, I think we have got what we need here. Hello? Hey, it's a shoe print. Maybe we just got lucky. That blood print says somebody's shoe picked up transfer. Hey, yo. Take a picture of that shit. Bingo. All right. I think what we got what we need. Let's, uh. Let's head back to the crime lab. Alright. Alright. Why don't we compare the fingerprints of the art gallery guy and the thing to make sure he doesn't match? Ah, uh, he matches. The prints on the pedestal are Ackerman's. It's no surprise. It's his gallery. Of course, he's still a suspect. Okay, so the fingerprints match. Again, like he said, that doesn't prove shit. Um, so, let's get these tire treads. Let's try that. Let's do a search on them. Let's see. We got the blood splatter pattern. Missing hawk sketch. Do you... Let's search. Okay, we got three different shoes here. Let's see if any of these match. Nope. Nope. And... Those two aren't no, quite a match. I didn't think so. Try to be they're similar, sure but they're but they're not quite it. I figured I'd try it. It's what the hell? About the details. I didn't think so. I got it work. Okay, so. Let's see what else we got. Why here. don't we see what Doc Robbins has to say about this first? Okay. All right, so we're done with the computer, I think. Uh, let's see what you said, chat. He owns the art gallery. You find his prints there. I exactly. We were doing a search just in case to make sure. It makes sense that his prints would be on there. All right, let's see what we got here. Um, we do have blood evidence. Victim's blood and the blood on the wall. Of course, that would be wall a match. matches the Vic's blood. It's a start. Links her to the crime scene. Okay. We confirmed that. Let's go into here. We've done all we can with that item. Oh, that's my bad. The chemical analysis. We don't have anything like that, so we're done there. 
And I think we're gonna go to the morgue and check the body out. Let's make sure there's something else here we want. Okay, we're gonna go to the, the morgue here and find out more about the body. Let's talk to Doc Robbins. Sure, I'll send a team right out. All right, give me that body. Let's see what we got here. Uh, looks like nothing to collect. What's the cause of death? Blunt force trauma, back of the head. Wounds interesting, an irregular shape, somewhat triangular. It's the murder weapon's signature. Here's something you might find interesting. A small piece of foreign fibrous material. Definitely not skull. Interesting. So that could be the statue. We will check that out in the lab. How about the hawk statue? Yeah, good question. The fragment I found appears similar in color to the photograph. So the bird's bill might be consistent with the wound. But without the real thing, it's just a guess. It's a good guess. Time of death? Well, based on the victim's liver temperature, dead less than two hours. Under ideal conditions, the body cools two degrees the first hour, then one degree after that. Mm. So we can put it around 5.30 p.m. Okay, how about fingerprints? Way ahead of you. Taking fingerprints off a of victim's body is part of my routine. Here you are. All right. All right, good shit. Good shit. All right. What about the toxic Toxicology port? tests show high concentrations of diazepam a benzodiazepine commonly prescribed for anxiety disorders. Well, it's not entirely unusual, but your prospective bride already had a honeymoon, semen in the vaginal canal. No forced entry, presumably consensual sex. I've got a sample for you. So, was she getting frisky with her husband before the wedding, or perhaps somebody else? The artist, maybe? Interesting. Of course. Glad to have your perspective. Okay, what do we got here? Yeah. Nothing to see here. Excuse me, miss. Don't mean to be a bother to you. I've got nothing new to report on the Vic. All right. So we are done in here. Let's go back to the lab and find out if we can see who's semen that might possibly be. Do a search. Five different possible samples. Behind door number one, no. Door number two, no. Door number three, no. Door number four, bingo. Yahtzee. So Rachel and her fiance did kiss and make up tonight. Evidence of sperm shows Mark scored a home run. But look at this. He's got a record with a history of violence. So let's get brass on this bad boy. All right. All right, chat. We are on a roll. So let's... Uh, what else we got here? We got the victim's head wound, which we know probably matches that. Uh, the fiber material. Probably see if there's anything in the chemical analysis. We've done all we can with that item. Okay, just wanted to be sure. Oops. All right, so we did DNAs, uh, comparison microscopes, um, phone number we're not worried about, the blood spatter pattern, um, Finger, victim's fingerprints. Let's confirm this, too. I, it's not really worth it, but we're going to do it anyway. Alright. Victim's fingerprints. We did the empty pedestal. We got nothing to do there. That's my bad. Okay, so... The tire treads we might be able to get. We've done all we can with that item. Alright, we can't do that. Okay, let's go to brass. Let's get the warrant. Let's ask to search the suspected murder weapon. So you think that hawk sculpture might be the murder weapon, huh? I'll get my boys to start searching for it immediately. Check right. back later. Will do. Track down Mark Stock. We've tracked every hotel and resort in Vegas. 
no small task. But we've got them registered at the Romanov, which is also where their wedding and reception was scheduled. Is he there, though? Mark Stock's here to identify his fiancée's body. He says he's eager to help. Bingo. So let's give him the chance. Yeah, let's do that. Who's up for a little interrogation? We know this is difficult, Mr. Stock. You have our condolences. Right. You don't have to pretend to feel anything. You didn't know, Rachel. Who did this to her? Well, that's what we're trying to find out, sir. Best we can tell, you were the last person to see her alive. That's not true. Then who was, Mr. Stock? Her killer, of course. Look, I was only with Rachel another maybe 15 minutes after Ackerman went off to mail a package or something. I had a previous engagement. And what was that? My bachelor party at Orgasma. You mean the strip joint? Yeah. You think a bachelor party's going down at a library or maybe a church basement? Hmm. All right. A guy I used to play ball with recommended him to me. Some favor. As far as I'm concerned, Ackerman's a pretentious sleazeball. His words as good as the paper it isn't written on, if you, if you get me. And this crap with him and this clown Milton. I don't remember when I was ever so frustrated. Hmm. What do you got, chat? Nothing right now? All right. Listen, I loved Rachel. I worshipped that woman. But she had a temper like a rabid monkey. And when Ackerman and Milton started jerking us around over that work, man, Rachel went off like a bomb. Fair enough. When that girl got mad, whoa. <laughs> She'd get in your face and your eyeballs and teeth would melt. She wanted her natural beauty preserved forever, displayed at the reception so her family and friends in the whole damn world could see her towering majesty. You still think she's a whore, Martin? She sounds very needy. <laughs> no. Why did you leave her alone? She insisted that damn artist would show up, and the owner was off on his errand. He left the keys with us in case he wasn't back by six so we could lock up for him. He gave you the keys to the gallery? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rachel and me were supposed to lock up at six. Ackerman headed out with his package. We had our little fling in back, and then... Well, I had a bachelor party to go to. Hmm. Hey, what about your prior assault? I was a cocky kid. A college star who wound up in the minor leagues. I was too damn dumb to know I should just pay my dues like everybody else. I made a lot of enemies. Throwing my weight and my temper around. Yeah. And I paid the price for it. That incident got me blacklisted from the league and ended any hope of a major league career. And it was my own damn fault, okay? And since then, hey, man, you're looking at a pacifist. Oh, but really? maybe you had a relapse, snapped under all this wedding pressure. After that bust, I started seeing a court-appointed shrink, and I am Mr. Chill now. Nothing gets to me, not even Rachel's temper. I look back on how I used to be, and man, I was not cool. I was a world-class ass. That's not me anymore. I loved Rach, and her sure. family was going to set me up in a sporting goods shop that would have given me a whole new lease on life. You think I would have flushed that down to John like I did my baseball career over an argument about some damn artwork? No way, man. No way. I didn't kill her. I loved her. But there is one situation where I might lose it again. Might have, what'd you say? A relapse. How's that? When you catch this bastard, if I get my hands on him, no guarantees, man. No guarantees. <laughs> you still going with that, huh, Martin? Whore, huh? I don't think this guy did it. Uh, as of right now, I I'm a little... I I'm believing him a little bit here. Uh, so we'll see. We'll we'll I'm gonna search your hotel room. Of course. We're on the same team, guys. Find who did this. Find him. Cooperative. That, that, that helps you, buddy. That helps you. So what about a fling? Oh, no, you know. Just had our fun with some cheap champagne. When did you leave? I was supposed to meet the guys downtown at 6 before we headed for Orgasma and the Bash, so it, hell, must have been, what, 5.15? And I had to put pedal to the metal to make it on time, even so. I can't tell you more than I know. I gotta confirm that. Okay, so... Let's go to the hotel room. See if you're hiding anything. I don't think you are in here, but you never know. We might find. 
It's a nice pad. It's not what I expected, though. This girl spends thousands on artwork for the wedding, but she opts for the junior suite. People and their priorities. Indeed. All right. Let's see what we got here. Let's check in this room first. Nothing there. Okay, here we go. A good idea to be thorough, but nothing's there. Hey, we like being thorough, man. We, we don't take anything for granted. Evidence, nothing. Whose shirt is this? Good there. I'm taking your shirt, buddy. Oh, a little bit of blood. Try. Let's try that. Close. Nah. Try using a similar tool. Yeah, it was 50-50. Okay. Give me some of that blood. I better. I better hope it's not your wife's, buddy. Maybe it was your semen somehow got on your shirt. Oh. Okay, that's all we can really check out in here. It's in the drawer. We're gonna take that. It's like a phone number. Brass can track down this number for us. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Wow, table. the European honeymoon of a lifetime. Not anymore. Let's see, uh, chat. Uh, if, the, if his alibi checks out, then I say he's clean. UV? Yeah. Just the blood, no UV. Not not yet. We didn't need that, but check back in the lab. A good idea to be thorough, but nothing's there. Alright. Check the TV. A good idea to be thorough, but nothing's there. You've made your point. Warwick. Alright. What do we got over here? Take this letter. That artwork was definitely due the day of the murder. Location searched. All right, we're done here. Let's get out of Dodge. Let's go back to Brass's office. I haven't checked on that phone number. That phone number was to a ticket theater broker. A clerk there remembers Rachel arguing with her about ticket prices. Interesting. What about Nathan? Our friendly neighborhood art dealer opened the gallery 12 years ago and his record's clean. I found some online reviews saying Ackerman is an overcharging, tasteless fraud. Okay. But hey, that's no crime. No, it's not a crime. The track down Patrick Milton. Even a self-proclaimed genius like Patrick Milton can't escape the electric company. And we got his address from their bill. Hell yeah. Here you go. All right. Um... Blood from the shirt. Let's go check that out in the lab real quick before we proceed to the next place for evidence. Let's see if we get a search. Five samples. Nope. 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 Uh, no. So we have ones that are not. So we're going to go back in and compare it to what we do have here. So semen from the victim's body does not match. The blood from the wall. Ah, it does match. Hmm. So the blood from the shirt and the blood from the wall match. This guy's in deep shit. So what do you think, chat? So now we have blood on the shirt that could definitely throw this for a curveball. All right, so got all the blood evidence. Okay. We're going to go over the men's shirt. We've done all we can with that item. Okay, we don't have to do that. Okay, so... We don't have 
everything to assemble. So, okay, let's go to the next place. Let's go to the artist studio. So, Martin, right now, who is your number one suspect? That's the question. Who's your number one suspect right now? Who are you going with? The shirt was um, the fiance's. It was, it was the hotel room, so it had to have been his. We, we don't need confirmation of that yet, but it's, we're assuming that it's his. And if I am? Las Vegas Crime Lab. Murder investigation. Are you Patrick Milton? Yes. All right. Yes. I'm Patrick Milton, but I don't know anything about a murder, you say? Yes, sir. We have a few questions. You mind? You better make yourself clear about how this supposedly involves me because I'm on a deadline. I'm an artist on commission here. Yeah. And I have a painting to finish, and I'm trying to grab a window of solitude while these damn construction workers are on break, whatever they're doing. My God, the noise lately here. Tell us how you really feel. But you're not gonna need that painting no more. What? Which commissioner? You don't mean Rachel? You don't mean Rachel Maddox, do you? It's yeah, not say. possible. Okay. There's no one on the planet more alive than Rachel. How, how did it happen? Blunt force trauma, Mr. Milton. The murder weapon may have been a statue, possibly one of yours. The perched predator is missing from the gallery. My lord, no. The, the hours, the months that went into that? Was it stolen? Please tell me it wasn't destroyed. It's one of my most valuable works. Well, unless you have it, I don't think so. Well, right here, of course. I mean, I practically live in this studio. The demands on me as an artist are unceasing. Mm. Why didn't you show up? Haven't you talked to my patron, the esteemed Nathan Ackerman? He called me and tore me a new one, and I decided the best thing to do was to stay home and get this painting and sculpture completed before Rachel's uh, wedding day. Yeah. I've been bunkered in here slaving ever since. My intention was to deliver everything tomorrow, right before the wedding. I couldn't see wasting time dealing with Rachel. There was a lot to admire about her, her spirit, her intelligence, but she was, well, she was frankly the worst tempered woman I ever met. The most difficult client I ever encountered. I figured the less contact with her, the better. Okay. That's it, and it's going well. I'm almost done with it, but I guess there isn't any hurry now. Pity. Despite her ugly side, Rachel was a beautiful woman and a worthwhile subject. What's your relationship with her? Well, it began cordially enough. She was a big admirer of my work, owed a number of my bird and animal sculptures. She approached me to do these special paintings to be displayed at her wedding reception. And I told her I rarely did the human form. I'm a nature artist, you see, and I have a knack for just slightly idealizing reality. Well, she did have her charming side, you know, and she said, well, I'm one of nature's best works of art. Are you up to capturing me? <laughs> How can I turn her down? <laughs> and the money wasn't bad either. And as I say, I would have delivered the painting and sculpture on time. Nick of time, but on time. Right at the reception ballroom. I'm almost done now. Hmm. Did you contact Rachel or Ackerman to tell them about this change of plans? No. And before you condemn me as rude and egocentric, let me just say, you never had a deal with Rachel Maddox. You have no idea the hoop she <laughs> Wow, <made>. a double <laughs> whore. Sounds unkind. <laughs> That's a good that one for sake. But, but really, I wanted to keep her waiting. Let her... No other way of saying this. Suffer a little, like I had. Let her squirm and stew. But my lord, I would never wish anything like this upon her. Okay. Was it a working relationship, or were you... Were you fucking her? In a word, rocky. She was a lovely girl, but rich and spoiled. At the beginning, she posed live for me. She was so demanding. Kept leaving her modeling pedestal to see what I was doing. Literally look over my shoulder. That, oh hell, that was just maddening. Finally, I just banished her from my studio. I'd already taken photographs of her in the desired pose, and these were sufficient reference. And photos don't talk back, nag, or interfere with the artistic process in any way. About the phone call. Well, from my point of view, it was entirely unprofessional and even hostile. I deserve better from someone I worked with for so long. You have no concept how much money I've made for Nathan Ackerman. But at least I didn't get caught up in a screaming match. I let the answering machine get it. Smart man. He wanted me to drop everything and get over to the gallery. It was pretty clear from how frazzly he sounded. He had his own generous serving of Rachel Maddox at her worst. 
So you're telling me you didn't drop by to set Ackerman and your client straight? Hell no. Nathan I could handle. But as overworked as I am, dealing directly with Rachel Maddox, I didn't need that grief. Well, frankly, my intention was to avoid seeing her at all. She'd be at the wedding, and I'd be at the reception ballroom dropping off the art. Call me a coward, but you people never saw Rachel in full flaming bitch mode. <laughs> I'm gonna I guess that. you can take it. Alright. Cool. What, where you were, what's your alibi? I live and work alone. But you already know I had no reason to leave until this artwork was finished. Haven't you been listening? Yeah. I want to take a look around, though. Actually, yes. The Maddox Stocks Wedding Commission is only part of what I have on my plate. And I've been See? battling headaches and back problems, what with all this horrendous construction racket going on, starting at 7 a.m., including weekends. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to concentrate? Okay, dude, I was willing to believe you until you said that, so now you're a little bit on my shit. I don't thing. have anything else to say to you people. Yeah, of course you don't. Okay, well... Alright, back to the crime lab. Uh... Let's see here. Um, I want to play this cassette tape. That should go on the trace analysis computer. Oh, that's my bad. That's right. Oh, I'm getting used to everything. Audio visual. There we go. All right, let's play it. Message received. 3:30 p.m. Patrick, are you there? I know you're there. Pick up. Damn it, Patrick. This unprofessionalism has to cease. Get down here with that painting and statue ASAP. And if they're not done, you come here with Rachel Maddox. She's climbing the walls, not to mention my act. Take half an hour and put some finishing touches on and bring that blasted art. We need her final payment today to cover up the... Uh, well, damn it, just get down here. This witch is finding new depths of mm. unpleasantness and we have to calm her down somehow. And Patrick, if you're not here within the hour, my next call will lead to my attorney to instruct him to sue your egotistical irresponsible ass. Understood? Wow. Doesn't sound much like the host and the ally we know. No. Sounds like Ackerman was on the edge. He was on the edge, and he was trying to, sounds like, cover something up with the money. So, uh, hmm. All right, let's go back to brass, I think. Are we forgetting anything here? No, let's go back to brass. We got chat. No, still double whore? Yeah, I got, I got you, Martin. Once you've got enough evidence, I'll hit up a judge. Okay, so we have yet to find the statue either. All right, uh, I'm going back to the crime scene. We're going to go talk to uh, our boy. See if I can do anything else with the blood. No. Are you still here? You are. I want to look at your shoes. Be my guest. Yeah, all right. Ah, you stepped in some blood. Yes, you did. You've been a bad boy, Nathan. We're going to compare that. Why that the would you be? I'm a hands-on gallery owner. And as it happens, I showed that very piece earlier today to a prospective buyer. Wasn't anyone else's fingerprint on there? Just confirming. No, just you, Mr. Ackerman. But that doesn't prove you took your own statue. Just that you touched that pedestal. Yeah. Why'd you threaten? I wouldn't call it a threat. I would. Patrick was well aware we had a client who was high strung, and that if that artwork was late, there would be hell to pay. Well, why should I pay it? I look a little desperate. You know that any business suffers occasional cash flow problems, but really, mentioning I might sue him was my way of lighting a fire under Patrick. Right. He is a fussy perfectionist, and I know he could finish up that painting and even the sculpture by deadline if he just got on with it. Mm-hmm. Still on the keys? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Not unless you have a warrant. Okay, so you still won't let me in your back office. Okay. Did you loan the yes. keys? Why? Is that a problem? No. Why did you leave this out of the report? Oh, well, frankly, I forgot all about that. There were no keys no. on her body. 
Well, I uh, took them, actually. They were my property, after all, and I didn't say no. how they could be important. No, and, and out of crime Nothing scene, buddy. Nothing sinister about it, just an oversight, my failing to mention it. Surely you can understand I'm a bit uh, flustered after all of this. Give me the damn keys. Yes, I'm sorry, of course. Uh... All right, paper services, smooth polish. Yeah, right here. Give me that fingerprint. All right. Okay, let's go back to the crime lab and see if we can find some more shit. We got some more stuff to work with. Blood on Nathan Ackerman's shoe. Let's go back. Do a search first before we compare it to other blood. You know what? Better yet, the blood from the shirt. And that is a match. This verifies Ackerman stepped in the victim's blood. You're not looking too good there, Ackerman. Not looking good at all. I don't know, Mar. It's looking like that that uh head of the gallery. It's it's what it's looking like right now. The print from the keys. Not his fingerprint. But it is hers. This key has Rachel's print on it. So it's possible she opened that locked office before she died. I wonder if our hawk statue took mm. flight back there. I think Ackerman's our guy. I think Ackerman's our guy, Martin. I think we're going to find that statue back there. Mmm. Mmm. We're going to get our warrant right now. We're getting our warrant. We are getting our fucking warrant. Once you've got enough evidence, I'll hit up a judge. I don't have enough? Alright, we're gonna go back to the gallery and we're gonna see if we can we can coerce this guy. I can't think of anything pertinent that I haven't already shared. Ah. Well, okay. A good idea to be thorough, but nothing's there. Alright, chat, what do you think? What am I missing here? What do we what do we need? What do we need? There's nothing else in the gallery. Artist studio's done. Hotel room is done. Um, we're missing something in the lab. Old boy planted the shirt. Yeah, that's that's very possible. Um, let's see if we can. Oops, no, that's not what we want. So. We've done all we can with that item. I'm just confirming that we've done everything we can with all we've these. We've done all we can with that item. Okay. We've done all we can with that item. All right, we've done all we can with all those items. Nathan's keys. Oh, yes, the shoes. We did forget the shoes. This might be what we need right here. Okay. Photos with the shoe print. Oh, it's a match. Yeah, we, we, we've got what we need, I believe. I think that should be it. Come on. That's got to be enough evidence. Once you've got enough evidence, I'll hit up a judge. Really? 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 Okay, okay, um... Can with that stuff. Uh, let's make sure we got nothing else on this key. Oh, we got blood on it. I did not see the blood. I told you I'm a little rusty with this game, but I'm getting the hang of it now. Rachel's blood on the keys means they were near her when she was attacked. Could the killer have used them too? Yeah, Mr. Ackerman, perhaps. Okay, let's check out this blood. Blood found on Nathan's keys. Blood from shirt. Bingo. Rachel's blood is on these keys. Ackerman must have taken them from the crime scene. But was it during or after the crime? Alright, we got our warrant. We got our warrant. 
Got our warrant. Nathan Ackerman, I want his back okay. office. Okay. Looks like our Vic may have had access to the back office, and it's possible we may find our murder weapon back there. That's enough to get a search warrant. Damn right it is. We're going to the gallery office, everybody. Let's prove this bitch. See what we got here. If you're it, Ackerman, I get you dead to rights, boy. All right, what do we got? All right, nothing there. Is there? Oh, there's more. Ooh, the safe. safe is locked. Since it's too small to hold a murder weapon, our search warrant doesn't let us unlock it. Okay. We'll need a different warrant to get in here. All right. Well, if we get more evidence, we'll have what we need. A paper shredder. Look like he's got a fresh crop. Oh, what are you cutting there, buddy? You'll want a different tool for that. Okay. I just thought I would try that. Alright, we're gonna have to put that together in the lab. Uh, there's nothing else on it. Uh, we're taking the statue. It's possible our blunt force bird didn't fly far from the coop after all. Let's see what Robbins has to say about this. Let's see if that's in fact our murder weapon, but before we do that, I'm gonna check it out to see if there's any blood or anything on it. I don't see anything all right that's in the clear for now oh some champagne hmm what do we got here Collect some something that. tells me this isn't baby powder let's run a narcotics test on it perfect no blood yep Champagne glasses. A good idea to be thorough, but nothing's there. Alright. See what we got in the crate. Nothing. A good idea to be thorough, but nothing's there. Alright. That must be what that was in. A good idea to be thorough, but nothing's there. Hey, that's what we do. Thorough is what I do. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Is this more blood? Fluids. Oh, is this our uh, semen? I think it is. Yep, that's our semen. You know, these scissors look nice and sharp, but not heavy enough to cause that spatter pattern. Okay, so that's not our any part of our murder weapon. All right. Uh, this is not fully investigated, but I think it's because we haven't gotten in the A safe good yet. idea to be thorough, but nothing's there. So I think we might be done in here. All right, we're going to come back here. We're going to go back to the lab, and we're going to investigate that stuff. Give it a shot. All right, powdery substance. Not there. That might be on this. You can run that on the chemical analyzer. Okay. You got it. Let's run this, see what this is. Sample prepared. What do we got? Methamphetamine powder, a.k.a. speed, crank, chalk, or rose by any other name. Mm. Meth interferes with the brain's neurotransmitters. It affects the brain and spinal cord. They used to use it for diet pills and nasal decongestants, but today it puts their wreck in recreational drug. So somebody's doing drugs in the back room. What do you say, chat? 
Yeah, chemical analysis, yeah, I screwed that up. Okay. Um, shredded letter we gotta do as well. We'll have to go to the thing. Okay, but before we do that, I wanna check the semen and uh, see what we got here. So. Let's check the semen from the victim's body. That's a word. Well, it looks like the prospective bride and groom had their prelim honeymoon that wasn't a on his desk. All right, so we have the warrant we need there. But first, we're going to go and do the shredded letter. All right, let's see what we got here. That's the bottom. Part of a signature. Bingo. 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 here. Bingo. Damn. Damn thing is sensitive. Damn. piece would be the most difficult one. God, man, it's sensitive as shit. God, man. Where is that last piece go? So you can't rotate the pieces. Damn. What do you think? Bottom right corner? God, man, I'll tell you, this thing is sensitive as shit. It's not working. Why is this not working? Oh. Why are you not working? What do you think, Jeff? It's on the right. Uh, that, that's where I'm going with it. I, I don't... That's what I'm trying to do. It's like it's not... Damn it, it keeps fucking with my thing. So, there we go. The cooperative fucking Mr. thing would catch. Is holding out again. He'd been hit by a nasty lawsuit by the Vic. Maybe he pretended to mail his package, but instead waited for Mark to leave and went back into service as client, stepping in the blood when he took his mm. keys back. I think he's our guy. I, I, I'm going with that. I'm I'm pretty confident that Ackerman's our guy now. I, I pretty much am I'm sold on that. 
I want Nathan Ackerman. I want to see. Okay. Safe. Seeking evidence of the gallery owner's financial woes, which makes a good motive for murder. I know a judge I can call to open that safe. All right. We're going in that damn safe before we bring Mark Stock in there. We might not have to. Bank records. There? If Ackerman's got money trouble, this should tell us. And look at this. The drugs? Alright. And the drugs. What's this? Another controlled substance? Look, I'm no longer a betting man, but if I was... Location searched. Let's go back to the lab real quick. Oops. Let's go into Oop. That's wrong one. Did we do that one already? Well, well. Okay. Yep. These samples are the same stash as mm -hmm. the other stuff we found. Maybe art isn't all that Mr. Ackerman's dealing. Okay. How's it going? Oh, here we go. Close, Kath. Real close. Rookie's done good so far. We just found more meth at the gallery. That doesn't fit what Doc Robin says about the Vic's tox screen. Negative on meth in her system. So it wasn't meth-infused rage, no matter what you found. Good to know. Okay, Rook. Let's see how somebody just saying yes to drugs figures in. Before we okay, I was gonna say before okay, before we do that, we're going to go to the morgue and ask Doc Robbins about that eagle statue. At first I thought it might, but the eagle's bill is much larger than whatever caused the actual puncture wound. Okay. This is definitely not the murder weapon. Alright, that uh puts that together. Okay, let's uh bring in a warrant here. Let's question. Nathan Ackerman again. He's on his way to interrogation now. All right, you got some stuff to answer for, buddy. The Nathan Ackerman Fine Arts Studio has thrived over the past 12 years I've been in business, and we've never been more vital. I'm even expanding my staff. The suggestion that we are anything other than financially sound is an insult. Really? Well, let me add some injury to that insult. This shredded document says Rachel Maddox was suing you for a breach of contract. Answer that. Uh, perhaps I should have mentioned that. But really, such minor disagreements are common in the business of this nature. We found powder? I... All I can think of is that many of my clients are wealthy, and I'm dealing with artists constantly, and those are two classes of people who are known to use recreational drugs. Was in your safe. Someone apparently used them in my back office without my knowledge. Even though you keep it locked? Mm-hmm. Well, if that's the case, it's a violation of my trust. I'd be lying if I said that those two weren't capable of such tasteless shenanigans, but it obviously didn't take place in my presence. No, just mm. in your gallery, in your back office. Is there anything else you neglected to mention? Insults upon insult, I cooperate fully, and this is what I get! Yeah. But it might be possible that Rachel and Mark brought that meth into my space. After all, if they were capable of semi-public fornication, uh, what weren't they capable of? Good point. Only we found drugs in your safe. Correct. M maybe they found some way to get past the lock. Uh, right. And planted those drugs in there to cause me difficulties. Rachel was suing me after all. I'm afraid not. Toxicology on Rachel came up negative for meth. Answer that. No, no, I'm getting back on my feet. It's a phase in the life of a successful business. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've stared bankruptcy in its foul face, but not because of any malfeasance or incompetence on my part. It's the unreliable likes of these artists. And Patrick Milton is the poster child of these irresponsible flakes. Uh -huh. And since I am indeed filing Chapter 11, the threat of a lawsuit means nothing. 
Maybe so, but that stash of meth means something. Like you're dealing, maybe? I keep hearing you want to cooperate, Mr. Ackerman. That works better without lies. You've lied a lot. I do not deal in drugs. That was a misguided effort on my part to buy a commodity that I could turn around and give to Patrick Milton in exchange for some of what I owed him. And oh, huh. make a sort of profit doing it. I had to keep him happy, because the money Rachel Maddox would pay for the wedding artwork would have gone a long way toward getting me out of this financial hole. Is that forthright enough for you? But you didn't get art from Patrick, or money from Rachel. So you struck back at the both of them and grabbed that statue, killing two stones with one bird. I killed no one. I mailed a package. If you did, it wasn't at your regular shipping service, because nobody there remembers seeing you. We've even oh. checked their surveillance tapes, and you aren't starring in them. You don't even make a cameo appearance. Hmm. Liar. It says Patrick uses meth. Hmm. Where were you at the time of the murder? I do have an alibi. I really do. But it's rather embarrassing. Mm -hmm. You see, I was with my dreadful term, bookie. Here I am, a longtime Vegas resident. And I make the same mistake as the stupid jurist. I tried to get ahead by betting. And what money I did have, I lost. As you probably already know, I am financially ruined. Finished. But I've said I'd cooperate, and I will. Here's the number to call to confirm. Okay. Here's I can't so. think of anything pertinent that I haven't already shared. All right. Well, we're going to bring in uh, Fiance again. Let's check on the rookie alibi first. The bookie Ackerman's alibi. alibi checks. He was with his bookie okay, alibi. Okay, he's not our guy. But we got him on ice for holding and possibly dealing. All right, so Ackerman's not our guy. I want to get a warrant for Mark Stock, though. We have a hostile person who claims he wasn't there, but he has the Vic's blood on him. Let's talk. Blood on your clothes. I had her blood on my clothes plenty of times. Rachel had rhinoplasty a few years ago. Since then, she's had trouble with nosebleeds. She had one just before we went to the gallery. I noticed it. I changed my shirt before we left. Hmm. What tickets? All right. All right. After our cool down in the back room, we got into another argument. She started all romantic and sweet, then surprised me with these theater tickets to the most expensive show in town. That, uh, a Canadian chick who sings real high and all. But I told Rachel I couldn't blow off my buddies who'd been planning this big bachelor party for me. She was so pissed. What do you want to see naked women for when you have me? I, I said, Rachel, it's not a sex thing. It's a guy thing. I gotta spend my last night of freedom with them. <laughs> that set her off again. But I wasn't having any. I just stormed out of there. Stormed out? Oh, I thought you kept your cool these days. Yeah. I did keep my cool. That's how I kept it, by just walking away. What I hate is that it ended like that, that, that we parted on that nasty note. Stormed out? Oh, I thought you kept your cool these days. <laughs> hmm. Sounds staged, Forsaken. Yeah, it does sound a little staged. I I'm with you on that. Where were you at 5.30, sure. though? Sort of. I was on the highway, busting ass, getting to my pals waiting for me downtown. So, I can't prove it, but they'll verify when I showed up. Okay, look, Mitchell on 515 and meet his friends at 6. Okay. We know you had sex, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. How did you know that? We found evidence of your semen inside of her. Oh. Uh, Rachel had, uh, a predictable habit. Whenever she got really mad, she wanted to work it off. The fact that Ackerman left us alone, it just made things happen faster. It was the one thing that made her temper bearable. The makeup sex. Mr. Stock, for a guy who suffered a blow like this, frankly, you seem kind of, uh, clinical about your late fiancé. I'll do my grieving my own way, pal. But I'm sure you'll find out about this anyway. I was on the verge of calling it off. The whole yep. shooting match. Yep. Relationship, wedding, whole deal. Great sex is not enough for all this stress. Rachel was turning into an out-of-control, unreasonable nutcase of self-involved vanity. But I still loved her. Hmm. What about that? No, no, I don't do that crap. Neither did Rachel. She had a lot of vices, but not that junk. 
Okay, uh, go back to the lab here. Um, we probably should go to Brass to confirm the alibis first, actually, now that I think about it. Let's go back to Brass, get these alibis confirmed. Well, murder what? You're in luck. One of our Hawkeye detectives found right. a turkey in a dumpster by the gallery. It's got a broken beak and a few other surprises. Give it a close look. Hmm. Hey, Warwick, I could use an update on the art gallery homicide. Sure. First, our new CSI is all over this thing. We've already got time of death and the murder weapon. Not bad for your first night. Yeah, well, let's not break our hand patting our back. We got miles to go before we sleep. Plenty of leads, but no firm suspects. Any ideas, Kath? Sometimes the evidence we collect has more evidence on it. Well, I suggest you give all your evidence another hard look. Murder weapon, especially. They oh, find wow. something key to I was getting to that before you interrupted me. Okay, rookie. You heard the boss. Let's go back to square one with fresh eyes. I don't need to go back to square one. I'm, I'm good with that. So as I was doing before I was interrupted by you, Catherine. Let's get this stuff off. Who's to say where this substance came from, since our murder weapon was found in that damn dumpster? Collect it, though. You never know. Till you know. Ain't that the truth? Okay. I'm not done with this yet, though. The beak. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Oh, that's definitely blood. So, the perched predator had a feast for his last supper. Let's test the blood to see what type of mammal was on the menu. I think. No, yeah, it's Frank's hot sauce on the bird. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's test this blood. You can run that oh, on the chemical one. analyzer. Blood stain. Let's see blood from shirt. That's the winner. Well, the blood on the beak is Rachel's, and the beak fits the wound, so we have our murder weapon. But okay. who killed her? Got that. All right, let's go on the chemical analyzer, and let's, uh... We've done all we can with that item. Oh, wrong one. Blue stain, what do we got here? Oil-based paint, that doesn't really do us any good. Okay, um... According to this, there's more on here. Let's see what else we got. You can find a fingerprint or something. Come on. Give me something. Something more on this thing, I think. Not seeing anything else on here. You seeing anything on here, chat? Already collected that. You think it's the artist? I mean, that's possible at this point. Um, I don't think there's anything else on here. I think it's just. All right. Um, forgetting anything else. Okay, we're gonna go back to brass if we can confirm some stuff. Um, no, we're gonna go back to the. I don't know. What are we missing? What are we missing, guys? Um. He's on his I'm way to interrogation now. Let's see if let me question him again. Tell all of, uh, cover all of our bases. I can't tell you more than I know. Okay. All right. Um, we'll go back to the artist studio so we can get him to talk a little bit. Yeah, where is two dogs, right? Right, Martin? Suppose Same. there's no way of avoiding this. 
Why I should want to protect that son of a bitch Ackerman, I'll never know. Call it misguided loyalty, but anyway, financial problems is an understatement. He owes me thousands, and over these past six months or so, he's come up with some, shall we say, unconventional ways of reimbursing me when cash wasn't Drugs. handy. Well, he offered me his second car, a big screen television from his former rec room, any number of nice, but honestly, secondhand items. I took a few of these offers just to help out, but Nathan's still into me for, well, let's just say the notion of him suing me is amusing. I know he often accepts cash payments from clients, for reasons you could probably guess, detectives that you are. If not, ask the IRS. Sometimes he's had enough cash in that safe of his to paper those gallery walls. What safe are you talking about? Oh, it's in his back office slash stock room. Keeps documents, sales records, and so on well, we in know there, that. Well, with cash in that safe, maybe you broke into it claim it was yours. And Rachel Maddox just happened to be there, after hours. The very person you wanted to avoid. Ridiculous! That's slander! So sue me. <laughs> okay, um... Well, I think we probably should go back and question uh, Ackerman, I think. How would he know? Yeah. Let's question him again. He's on his way to interrogation. It's an interesting question. Now. I can't think of anything oh, okay. pertinent that I haven't already shared. Okay, so what do we got that we can still analyze? Nathan's testimony, his bank statement. I mean, his alibi. I can't think no, of anything pertinent button. that I haven't already shared. Um, I mean, again, we're kind of back to. The lab. I feel like we're forgetting something here. I mean, I go here, and every time we've scanned something, we get the lock on it, that we're done with it. But the Hulk sculpture still has something on it, it seems like. It's not showing uh, that it's kind of completed to be looked at, but I'm not seeing anything on it. What do you think, chat? What are we forgetting? Any ideas, chat? Not seeing anything. No fingerprints or anything, so... I don't know. Bird, bird chest? We we did the bird chest. That's where the um, the powder was. We did that already. Um, I mean, even the keys still technically have something on them, according to this. But I don't think it does. Not seeing anything else on this stuff. Um, hmm. Cassette tape receipts. Oh boy, what are we forgetting? Out of curiosity, I'm going to clear this evidence up. That should go on the trace analysis computer. Okay, that's got to be my answer. Trace analysis computer. That should go oh, on the that's trace not analysis the trace. computer. Damn, I'm really brain farting right now. That should go on the trace analysis computer. Oh, that's on the, the documents are on the thing. I don't know why the hell I'm doing that. Uh, audio visual, I guess. That should go on the trace analysis computer. Yeah, I got that. It's just special links, I guess. Okay, let's search his bank records. Our gallery guy's busted flatter than a stretched canvas. Okay, he's filed for chapter 11. Do We've all done all we can with that item. All right. We've done all we can with that item. 
That's good. We've done all we can with that item. All right, we've done all we can with that stuff. Um. Okay. Um. I wonder if we can. We've done all we can with that item. It's done. We've done all we can. Okay, with that, that clears item. it up. We have gone through all of our evidence, so we're past that. All right. Um. Been to the office. We searched there. We're not done in the artist studio. I I don't know. I'm I'm. We're having a situation here. We're gonna have to find something. We're we're short on evidence or something. No. A good idea to be thorough. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Awkward. I, we've reached we've reached our first little uh, standstill here. Um, <laughs> just when we thought everything was getting easier. Um, let's go back to the morgue real quick. Okay, here we go. Nose bleed. The victim does have a blood clot in the nasal cavity and several patches of dried blood. Yes, I would say she recently had a okay. bloody nose and no sign of trauma causing it. Okay, so the husband could tell the truth there, or the fiance, about the hawk statue. There this is a match. This was the item used to bludgeon Rachel to death. Got our murder weapon for sure, it's confirmed. The puncture wound is consistent with the hawk statue's beak. Plus, the fragment I recovered from the head wound matches the beak. All right. Uh, I'm going to go back to Brass's office, see if we can do something. I, I don't know. Uh, let's go back He's to Brass's stock. To let's try and see if we cover all bases there. And then we'll go back to Alderman. If we've questioned them both what we need to, then we're forgetting I can't tell you more than okay. I know. All right, so he's covered. Um, let's question Ackerman He's again. on his way to interrogation now. If not, um, I guess we could try to go back to the artist studio. I don't know. I can't think of anything pertinent right. that I haven't already We've shared. We've covered that basis. Um, back to the artist studio, I guess. Um, I don't have anything else to say to you people. All right, well... Um, We've reached a little bit of a standstill. I mean, it, it, go back to the crime scene. I, I don't know. Is there anything we're forgetting? Everything's done there. Everything's done there. The last thing I want to do is ask, ask Warren uh, work for a hint, but I might not have a choice. A good idea to be thorough. But nothing's there. We've done so well with no hints that... Alright, chat. Uh, I'm gonna need a question. Do we ask work for a hint, or do we keep... Uh, going at it here? What do you think? A good idea to be thorough. I mean, it said we searched this whole area, so I don't know what the hell I'm even doing in here. I'm going back to the lab. Uh, let me know if I, you think I should do a hint. I don't know what other evidence there really is left here. I, I've gone through everything. Fuck, man, we've reached a standstill. Um, I'm going with the hint. I, I gotta go with the hint. Let me see the comparison microsub just for the hell of it. We've done all we can with that item. We've done all we can with all of them. All right, all right, work. Hint. Yeah, I agree. Hey, do you need a hint? Unfortunately, yes. I might be able to help you, but just a heads up. It could count against you in your evaluation. Yeah, it's all right. Um. The art gallery or the morgue, okay. 
I've updated your case file with a hint. The rest of Arvin's question to obtain evidence. Got that, got that. Here. Oh, hair. Okay. Go to the more. We need the hair. I don't know what the hair is going to prove, but... Whoa. With a rock like that left behind, I doubt we have a robbery. This was personal. Okay. I don't think we ever got the hair, so the hair's got to be here somewhere. Is that from the side table? Was that right? The hair from the victim's body can be collected here from the side table if it was not collected at the crime scene where the body was recovered. I don't think we... Did we get the hair? I don't think that we did, but... I don't have anything for you right now. Mm. Okay. All right, we're gonna go back to the lab, make sure there's nothing we have to do with this ring. Just to say, I know this is not the right thing, but I'm just gonna try to clear it off the list. We've done all we can with that item. All right. We're gonna have to. Go hey, back to him do you one need more a time. Hint? I might be able to help you, but just a heads up. It could I, I know it will. But we've reached a standstill. Okay, search the artist's studio. I've updated your Yeah, this is key. This is key. Hint. Blood stain on the hawk beak. Got it. For brass, give you a search warrant. Blue substance on the hawk. You know, the chemical analyzer. Hair found on victim. Receipt for paintings. The hair found on victim. Why, why do we not have that hair? We need that fucking hair. We need that hair. I don't have that fucking hair. So let's see if it's still at the crime scene. This is a problem, because now... I'm not seeing a hair... We got a serious problem here. Shit, we gotta go back to the morgue. We 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 got a little bit of a problem here. Where is the hair? Understand what we're missing here, guys. I, I'm, I'm a little confused. What is the deal? I've got nothing new to report on the Vic. You didn't give me the hair. Oh man, this is not good. Wait. Ah, there we go. Whoo! For a minute there, That's I thought, no human I, I thought we had a glitch it's problem. Too thick. Some kind of animal, maybe. Okay, all right. We're good now. Now we're good. I, I, I don't know how the hell we didn't get that. Squirrel hair. Commonly used to make paintbrushes. Maybe we should find our reclusive artist. Alright, give me the warrant. Uh, 
We're on our way. You've yep. got some good evidence on Patrick. I can call a judge and good get shit. a search warrant good to shit. cover anything with paint on it. Is that wide enough of a brush for you? Oh, it is. Get me into that studio. I usually use red sable, but I probably have a few squirrel brushes, yeah. So this is the famous painting in progress. Give me that painting. Um, You'll run. want a different tool for that. A uh, different thing, here we go. Let's collect some stuff here. Blue paint. But is it the blue paint? It's gotta be, right? What we got here? some of that a suspicious bag of powder now this paints a whole new picture doesn't it it does all right uh nothing here it looks oh wait who there's something here a good idea to be thorough but nothing's there that's all right that's all right that's all right now here's the statue our artist friend was finishing up the night before the wedding. The Vic had an ego, all right. I don't see any paint on her, though. No, I don't either. Okay. Let's go upstairs, see what you got up here. Nothing there. A good idea to be thorough, but nothing's there. Nothing there. What do we got here? Oh! Well, looky what we have here. Killer tickets for the hottest show in town, Night of the Murder. Boy, you're lucky when you land these. Hmm. And a fingerprint. Someday our prints will come, and this is it. Let's get this over to the lab. Oh, we will. A good idea to be thorough, but nothing's there. We're always thorough. Wait a minute. Uh, nothing there. Okay. Alright, let's go back. Check his paints out. A good idea to be thorough, but nothing's there. All right. Where'd you get these tickets? Well, a friend of mine gave them to me. I took them to be nice. Didn't really have any interest in that commercial stupidity. So it must be some friend to give you such expensive tickets. And you must be pretty well off to toss something you could resell for a couple hundred bucks. Hmm. So who's the friend? I don't remember. A guy I talked to at the corner restaurant, I think. We'll see about that. Yeah, we will. Evidence updated. Let's see if we're forgetting anything else. Let's make sure that we got what we need off this. I'm not seeing anything on that. Um... See anything we're missing here? Already checked that. Nothing else in here. Okay, I think we're gonna go back to the lab. Get this stuff checked out. He what? He has nerves. And ticks, yep. Owner paid artist to kill her? Yep, that sounds like a good a good uh a good guess. All right, let's see if the hairs uh, match. Yes, they do. So we got common variety squirrel paintbrush fibers. The two samples are consistent with each other, but not enough for a positive identification. Yeah. 
I can understand that. Okay. Um, paint you can run that on oh, the chemical, chemical analyzer. Yep. Yep, you're right. All right. See if this is our blue goo. Paint from the art studio matches the murder weapon. Maybe Patrick tried to deliver that painting after all. He grabbed his own artwork and swung it hard. Hmm, okay. And the fingerprint on the tickets. Let's get our fingerprint. Go back here. Alright, print Nathan's keys. We have a match. The print matches Rachel. Patrick Milton. Having them in his possession ties him directly to her. We got a warrant. Kind of hard for him to explain that one. You can serve about 12 warrants on this bozo. <laughs> he's coming down to the station now. And if he can talk his Match. way out of this, he's a real artist. We know you know it. no such thing. She was a client, and a rich one. She was a pain in the ass, sure, but I wouldn't kill the goose providing the golden eggs. Do I look that stupid? The evidence says you do. Follow the evidence. So I think you went down there to deliver the unfinished painting. Maybe you tried to pass it off as an artistic statement, but Rachel was having none of it. You see, the meth increased your normal rage, so you grabbed the nearest heavy object, ironically signing the murder with your own work. But the painting is oil-based, and it transferred blue paint to the hawk. So you ditched the hawk in a dumpster, but you kept the damaged painting. So it could support your story that you were still working while Rachel was being killed. You're dead to rights, buddy. And as for the wallet, you grabbed the cash and you dumped it. The tickets, I'm sure, were hidden in the cash. And when you Bingo. noticed them, you tore them up. But you had no idea Rachel's fingerprints remained. Do you have any idea, any notion at all, what it's like to be an artist? A true artist, and have to put up with the capitalistic needs of that pompous ass Ackerman, reading me the riot act over the phone, that fool. He was the one who made me mad, really. Truly got my negative energies flowing. But when I came around to deliver that damn painting, who was waiting? All by yourself. The lovely subject of my painting, and the painting, you've seen it yourself, it's a masterpiece. It can still use some finishing touches. Only you gave the model, not the painting, the finishing touches, didn't you, Patrick? The woman was a 14 karat bitch. She had the nerve to attack my painting, to criticize me. Face too bright, hair too dark, dress draped improperly, proportions all wrong. God, if I only had the courage to depict the inner her, the demon behind that beautiful face. She's lucky I didn't, she's lucky. Well, she's also dead. She was your boss, Patrick. Night before her wedding, she had to chase you around for the artwork she commissioned. Ever think maybe she had a point? Easy for you. Easy for you. You weren't there. You weren't the brunt of her verbal blows. Yeah, but she was the brunt of your literal blows. Fine. I did it. I rid the world of a monster, a shrill, unrelenting there we witch. Go. I did her the favor of making her beauty live forever through my art, and the world a favor by ridding it of her inner ugliness. Satisfied? And now I'm tired. I need rest. I need peace. Well, you'll so get in quiet. jail. Time to contemplate and time alone to create my art. Thank you. Well, you'll have plenty of time alone from here on out. That was a fine first okay, so. lesson in the art of crime scene investigation. Without the evidence you and Warwick uncovered, that was a masterpiece of murder that might have gone unsolved. Good job. Before we get back out into the field, let me review your case. The hints hurt. Your the hints hurt. We know. But all in all, Great I think we work. did a pretty good job. But asking for help cost you in your final evaluation. See if you can do as well without using any. I know. Hints. I know. Uh. Okay. Well. All right. Well, we completed the first case. Um, not too bad. Uh, only a couple hints. Didn't hurt us that badly. Uh, I thought we did a pretty good job otherwise. Um, I had fun playing the game. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing the game. I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, 
I hope uh, everyone enjoyed watching it. I know Forsaken Avenger was watching the case, and he was interactive, joining the chat and, and, and dropping stuff. So uh, I appreciate that, and I appreciate you watching. Um, so, yeah, Forsaken for the win. You got it. Oh, hello, two dogs. How you doing, man? Uh, just uh, just finished just finished our first case in CSI. Uh, only asked for two hints. Didn't do too bad. Thanks for joining me, guys. Two dogs, great to have you here. Uh, you've been you've been great between Martin and I stream. You've been great, man, and we love having you. And you're a lot of fun, and uh, you make these streams a lot of fun as well. And uh, Martin, thanks for joining the stream too. Greatly appreciate it, man. Uh, Visage will be next. I look forward to seeing you on that one, Two Dogs. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So thanks for joining me tonight, guys. And I will see you soon on Visage.